There's a reason why Plankton is obsessed with Krabby Patties, and for his sake, we're going to help him discover what the Krusty Krab's secret ingredient really is. But let's just say that some mysteries are better left unsolved. Watch until the end to find out what Mr. Krab's best kept secret is. Krabby Patties taste so nice. <laughs> All about the Krabby Patty. Every decent burger comes with a squirt of delicious sauce, and while these sauces are usually ketchup or mustard based, the Krabby Patty is accompanied with something entirely different. So let's get the basics out of the way. The Krabby Patty is topped with lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, barnacle shavings, onions, and sea salt. These ingredients are nothing out of the ordinary. Well, everything but the barnacle shavings, of course. However, it's what comes next that confuses us. While ketchup, mustard, and tartar sauce are listed, there's a secret sauce that isn't. SpongeBob might be in charge of putting the Krabby Patties together, but he hasn't the slightest clue what the secret ingredients might be. So we're taking it upon ourselves to iron out the details. When it comes to this crusty crab delicacy, there are two mysteries that arise. The first one being the patty itself, and the second one being the secret sauce. It will bring the whole world together. These two secret ingredients combine to make the best burger ever, which is why the Krusty Krab is always jam-packed with customers. If there's one thing Mr. Krabs loves more than anything, it's money. So we're certain that whatever his secret ingredients are, they won't be too expensive. Now that you know what a basic Krabby Patty looks like, let's jump right into some of the most disturbing theories surrounding the underwater burger. Imitation Crab Meat Crab meat is expensive, and by now we all know that Mr. Krabs is the cheapest sea critter in Bikini Bottom. So by default, paying for real crab meat is out of the question. The best burger in town might very well be named after the crab who invented it. So just because it's named after a crustacean doesn't mean that it's made out of a crab. And besides, serving real crab meat is a little barbaric, especially since Mr. Krabs has been seen chomping down on Krabby Patties before. A popular theory floating around the internet is that Mr. Krabs uses imitation crab meat to make his patties. However, he'll be the last person to confirm or deny this. So what's fake crab meat made out of? But that's, that's madness. Well, it's quite simple, really. Imitation crab is made with a fish called surimi. This fish is colorless, which is why cooks usually add spices and colorants to it before serving it. It's a cost-effective and tasty way to get your customers coming back for more. But in the end, it's made out of 100% surimi. Since Mr. Krabs' customers are predominantly fish, this theory is more than a little unsettling. After all, this basically means that Bikini Bottom is a town of cannibals. But then again, it's only normal for the big fish to eat the little fish. Crab Meat some SpongeBob fans believe that the Krusty Krab is actually a restaurant that supports cannibalism, and here's why. First of all, Mr. Krab seems to be the only crab in town, which is pretty strange if you ask us. So could it be that crabs know to avoid Bikini Bottom at all costs? Mr. Krabs is in love with making money, which is why we wouldn't put it past him to go against his own kind to become the richest crustacean in the ocean. Just when you thought that things couldn't get any worse, we're about to take Mr. Krabs' insanity to a whole new level. Yes, you like it with you, don't you? Mr. Krabs doesn't have a wife or a girlfriend. However, he has a daughter who looks nothing like him. If crab meat is indeed the Krabby Patty's secret ingredient, then this means that Mr. Krabs is getting his meat from somewhere else. Red crabs can lay up to 10,000 eggs in one sitting, which would be more than enough to sustain the Krusty Krabs demand. So could it be that Mr. Krabs uses his own children as fuel for his restaurant business? If this is true, it could explain why no crab has ever fallen in love with the Krusty Krab owner. And it could also shine a light on why Mr. Krabs' daughter, Pearl, is the furthest thing away from a crab. After all, the richest man in Bikini Bottom was bound to get lonely too, and he couldn't risk having a child that he'd be tempted to cook on the grill. Texas Beef Sandy Cheeks is one of SpongeBob's best friends, but she isn't exactly an open book. Sandy might be a squirrel, but that's never stopped her from living underwater with the rest of her friends. So what's a squirrel doing in Bikini Bottom? Well, we have some theories. Up here on dry land, we like to eat burgers that are made of 100% beef. So why would things be any different for our favorite ocean dwellers? Here's a theory that just might blow your mind. Krabby Patties are made from beef, and Sandy is responsible for delivering the meat to Mr. Krabs' front door. Sandy comes from Texas, which is a state that is known for being populated with cattle farms. So could it be that Sandy sells beef to Mr. Krabs in exchange for a paycheck? 
To make ends meet, Sandy used to work for the Tree Dome Enterprises. However, this company is only mentioned once and doesn't seem to be legitimate. Although Sandy's bosses allow her to remain in Bikini Village, the squirrel doesn't exactly have a paying job. So we're led to believe that she and Mr. Krabs are in cahoots with each other. And prove that land creatures are better than sea creatures. No way, Sandy. There's no secret ingredient. Mr. Krabs might be shellfish, but he's not stupid. So we wouldn't put it past him to trick people into thinking that his restaurant serves the best burgers in Bikini Bottom. For years, Plankton has done everything in his power to uncover the truth. But sadly, he's never gotten close to discovering what Mr. Krabs' secret ingredient is. So here's a theory that makes more than a little sense. The secret ingredient doesn't exist. Instead, Mr. Krabs uses this clever marketing trick to get customers to choose his establishment over the chum bucket. The mind works in a curious way. So if someone tells you that your burger has a secret ingredient in it, you might be inclined to think that it tastes better than a regular burger. The placebo effect is a strong one, and marketing tactics never fail to amaze us. In Season 6, Episode 122, Karen gives Plankton some advice that he immediately takes to heart. No, that's not it, you fool! We need a new slogan! Instead of trying to copy the famous Krabby Patty, Plankton starts to use advertisement to his advantage. And to his big surprise, customers start pouring into the chum bucket and ordering burgers. So could it be that Krusty Krab's secret ingredient is nothing more than a clever gimmick? Plankton the Chum Bucket and the Krusty Krab are two fast food restaurants that had their grand opening on the very same day. However, the Krusty Krab is way more successful than the Chum Bucket will ever be. And the reason behind this is that the Chum Bucket doesn't serve Krabby Patties. In Season 3, we're introduced to an episode titled Plankton's Army, which brought forth an interesting concept. In this episode, Plankton finally gets his hands on Mr. Krabs' secret recipe, only to find out that the Krabby Patty is made with freshly ground plankton. This information causes Plankton and his relatives to run for the hills. However, Mr. Krabs later reveals that Plankton is not the secret ingredient, but simply a ruse to get Plankton off his back. <laughs> Mr. Krabs is no fool, which is why we wouldn't put it past him to trick Plankton into thinking that the actual secret ingredient was nothing more than a joke. So it's very possible that Plankton is indeed the secret ingredient, and that Mr. Krabs pulled a fast one over everyone's eyes. If there's one thing that's for sure, it's that Plankton is never going to test out this theory. Because, well, that would just be wrong. Seaweed and Tofu no one wants to admit that the Bikini Bottom residents are borderline cannibals, but we have to face the facts. At the end of the day, the Krabby Patty is made with some form of meat, whether it's crab or fish. However, in a perfect world, none of these ingredients would be found in the Krusty Krab's kitchen. Some fast food restaurants use meat fillers to make the most profit, so knowing this, why would the Krusty Krab be any different? Many restaurants have found ways to make tofu taste like the real deal, and since Bikini Bottom has its very own scientist and inventor, we're led to believe that Sandy Cheeks might be helping Mr. Krabs create the ultimate fish-friendly patty. Tofu was created when a Chinese chef combined seaweed and soy together, causing it to curdle. And since seaweed is an easy thing for Mr. Krabs to acquire, this ingredient might just make up the Krabby Patty we all know and love. If this is true, it makes perfect sense that Mr. Krabs would protect his Krabby Patty recipe with his life. After all, who knows how many customers he would lose if they found out that they were paying full price for a vegetarian burger. If you think this is bad, wait until you hear the following theories. Number one on this list might just make your jaw drop all the way to Bikini Village. Fish Burgers Although many of us wouldn't expect fish to eat other fish, this is a very normal occurrence. So by default, it's very possible that Krabby Patties are made with fish and a few other key ingredients. When it comes to making money, Mr. Krabs is ruthless, which is why SpongeBob and Patrick have often had to save sea critters from their boss. In the episode Jellyfish Hunter, Mr. Krabs starts capturing jellyfish and using them as a topping. The jelly proves to be a highly addictive add-on and a profitable one at that. Despite having to capture and suck jellyfish dry, Mr. Krabs doesn't seem at all bothered by his actions. This makes us wonder just how far the fast food owner will go to make some extra cash. If imprisoning jellyfish against their will and torturing them isn't a deal breaker, we'd hate to see what Mr. Krabs does to the fish he captures. It's possible that Mr. Krabs throws everything he catches into a blender to create that famous Krabby Patty. After all, doing so is cost-effective. SpongeBob, I got a proposition for you. 
How's about you go catch me some of those little money fish? Whale burgers. Most of us have never paid much thought to the fact that Mr. Crab's daughter is a sperm whale. And although the crab swears that Pearl is his biological daughter, we highly doubt that this is true. After all, Pearl is the furthest thing away from a crab. When a whale passes away, their body floats to the bottom of the ocean, where it's later polished off by fish, sharks, lobsters, shrimps, and crabs. In fact, the scent of a whale carcass is so strong that it attracts sea dwellers from miles away. So want to hear a theory that'll change the way you you look at Mr. Krabs for good? Well, here it goes. Some believe that Mr. Krabs stumbled across a sperm whale carcass, only to find a baby whale swimming around it. He then chose to adopt the little whale and build his restaurant on top of the carcass. For the next 20-something years, Mr. Krabs has used sperm meat to lure customers to his cash register. And his plan has worked flawlessly. Although it's perfectly normal for sea critters to eat whale, Mr. Krabs keeps his Krabby Patty ingredients top secret. Because should they ever get out, Pearl would find out that her adoptive father has been getting Getting rich off of her mother's back. Now, if that isn't creepy, we don't know what is. Something wrong with the patty, sir? <laughs> Poseidon Power. Mr. Krabs knows that the secret to his success is making his customers come back for more. So knowing this, he chose to add a special ingredient that would keep him rich for the rest of his life. It's no secret that Bikini Bottom dwellers are obsessed with Krabby Patties. So much so that the entire village nearly went crazy when Mr. Krabs' secret ingredient was stolen in the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. It's been revealed that the Krabby Patty is made with a pinch of King Neptune's Poseidon powder, which is known to be an extremely addictive substance. In fact, if this substance was being used on dry land, users would most likely be sent to jail. Mr. Krabs only cares about money, which is why sprinkling his food with illegal additives doesn't seem to faze him whatsoever. However, when his secret ingredient was stolen, he can clean about what would happen to Bikini Bottom if Krabby Patties went extinct for good. And believe us when we say that it's not pretty. So there you have it, guys. Some of the most insane Krabby Patty theories on the market. Before you go, let us know which one makes the most sense to you in the comments below. And that's a wrap. Make sure to subscribe to The Things for more awesome videos to come your way. Thanks for watching and see you next time.